Well, good morning, everybody. It's Leanne with today's live video. Now, I have a lot to share today. Only one project, but a lot of um, new product, a couple of retiring products, um, lots of news. So um, let's get started. Um, let me know you're here. I am, um, I'll be watching for comments. I am going to refresh my screen so I can see comments. And there we go. Okay, good morning, Candy. Morning. Candy was one of the ones with me at on stage in Houston. We had such a great time. It was actually couldn't be better. Except a couple gals got ill a few times. I don't know what it was. Somebody said maybe the water, getting used to the water. There had some stomach issues, but it was short lived for the most part. So otherwise it was really good. Okay, um, all right, so what I have here on my screen is current. So the annual catalog, the retiring list comes out April 9th, and same with the mini catalog, comes out April 9th. Now we know that the in colors, these in colors are retiring. So if you like them and don't have enough of the cardstock, the inks, refills, uh, ribbons, gems, these are on uh, unavailable right now. They don't have a date that it's going to return. Kind of surprised it's unavailable because uh, it will be retiring. So I'm surprised that they're ordering more because they're going on the retiring list uh, on April 9th. But they're beautiful colors and Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis, and Starry Sky. So those were some people's favorite in colors in a long time. So be sure you get them now before they go on the retiring list because once they do, they can um, go really fast. And I'm almost, I've seen the retiring list. I will be posting them soon. I'm almost positive that the card stocks are not discounted. So I would, um, I'm almost positive on that. I will look again and put it in the notes here if it is. But um, yeah, get get them while you can because they won't last long. Once they go um, on um, the tired list, they go fast. So like I said, this, these products will be retiring in just a few weeks. Okay, um, that's the news on that. I'll be sharing everything I received it on stage uh, this last week. I just got home Sunday from Houston. Four other gals on my team went with me and um, we shared rooms and uh, spent time together and ate together and watched the presentations. It was such a good time and we all got along so well and they loved it and they wanna go again next year. Next year's in um, Raleigh, North Carolina so if you'd like to go on trips, uh, join us. It was a blast. So how many here watching, I know there's a lot of demonstrators watching, went to on stage this, this year. It, um, they did a great job, great presentation. Shelly was there. Sarah was in uh, Australia, I believe, at their convention. So, But we did have Shelly with us and a few other people from the corporate team. So, So yeah, it was a great time. Uh, I'll share new catalog stuff in just a little bit. I got a little bit of news first. So here is the inventory status report. We have a few things coming back next week, um, a few the week after, and then we get into April. And uh, so we have a few brand new things, Sweetly Scripted and Simply Zinnia. They do not know when they'll be back in stock. Those are the online exclusives. So um, hopefully take a screenshot if you like to know what's what. Now this is not a complete list. There's cardstock, inks, and whatnot that are not on this list. So sometimes you just have to go into the online store. Um, you can do that by going to shopwithleanne.com and seeing, um, you just have to uh, look at the items and it says um, unavailable or out of stock or I can't remember what it says, but yeah. So that's the inventory status report. Let's do prizes. So last week I um, decided to give away some, some cards. These are from the Poetic Expressions designer paper and a couple of them are fun folds. So these cards were for sharing, I mean commenting last week. And then we have a, uh, a color 
sampler that you can get color combos from. So this is for com or sharing, commenting, sharing. <laughs> okay, the winners are uh, Kathy Ballard won the cards and Susan Burton won the um, color sampler. So congratulations. Kathy, I think I need your address. I, I, I'll look again. But Susan, I know I have yours. So congratulations, gals. Thank you so much for commenting and sharing. And the prizes this week for commenting are opaque adhesive back gems. These are retired. And a card, card making kit. So I gave away one of these before, but this is a set of, I believe it's eight card bases, eight envelopes, and some designer paper that coordinates with it. So this is kind of a, a fun card making kit, mystery card kit, maybe you could call it. So that is for uh, sharing and the gems are for commenting. So yeah, let me know you're here, you're watching, where you're from, and if you're new too, I would appreciate that. Okay, now I do want to mention, oh, I think I forgot to print that up. Oh, well, I had some links to my stores. Oh, here, well, I can't put those. Anyway, um, these are where you get my free project sheets. One of the projects I'm sharing today will be on there today. This is for my kits and tutorials, glue stands. Um, that's the link for there. If you want to shop um, and use a host code, please, when you do shop with me, I appreciate that. That way I'm able to give away the free gifts with the hostess rewards. Now I do want to mention right now there are, they gave us a peek of three upcoming paper pumpkins. So April is called Delicate Wings. That's our little hint. May is the best there is. It's cards for Father's Day and more for gratitude and admiration. Nine cards, both nine cards, three each of three designs. Looks like it says um, you're the best there is. And this one is a mystery. It's called June, Life is Sweet. Celebrate the sweet things in life with textured artistic cards. And it features the new in colors. So that's why it's in the grays. But this is available for subscribers only. And these sets of, the set of dies right here, hopefully it's not shining too much for you, is available for subscribers while supplies last. And they're $12. It has a thanks, a banner, or a, a, a greeting label, and two butterflies detailed and outlined. So that is available for subscribers and I have the item number right there, 164397. So if you're interested in receiving Paper Pumpkin, I, I'm gonna show you really quickly my, uh, I just got it yesterday. This is, was March's Paper Pumpkin, yes. So Memorable Meadows and I haven't made the cards yet but they have curvy flap envelopes and they're all printed with beautiful designs. So here are the instructions. And this time we had a bonus, boy, it's hard to see, but a bonus stamp set of two-step floral. And this was the stamp set. Oh, I can show you better here. This was the stamp set. So um, heartfelt thanks. Um, it's the little things that matter. Had a beautiful birthday and you've been on my mind and of course floral. So this was the bonus set. This was the set that came with it. So it's really nice, they give you a sheet you can cut out to put with your stamps now, either in a case or whatever. So they include that in the kit. But your kits include all the labels, gems, dimensionals, glue dots, always an ink spot. There I said labels. This one we had purple vellum and card bases, the beautiful envelopes more card bases and wooden elements. So I'm gonna be trying, to, I'm gonna have a, I have a plan to use these in a different way. So, um, so yeah, that is this month's kit. Now, it may be available online as a refill and sometimes they have the entire kits uh, for sale at a later time for subscribers. Everything is only for subscribers through Paper Pumpkin. So it's a fun thing to get in the mail every month. I do love it. Okay, so here is the new catalog. So right away, we were kind of uh, surprised at the cover. Where's the product? It's a little, um, it's very different and the whole thing is different. But they are focusing on 
gathering together experiences and using product. So they, they're showing they're in a class or making cards together. They're, um, yeah, they're having an experience and they're gathering. So those are the three things that this catalog is focused on. I cannot open the book. It's not allowed until the catalog goes live. Um, but yeah, this is new and it's totally laid out differently than it's ever been before. So they're focusing on experiences, crafting levels, uh, sweets are in the beginning. Yes, the colors are in the back, but it's laid out differently. So have an open mind. We'll be sharing um, a video on how this is laid out later. Or maybe I'll do a catalog walkthrough that will help you out. But, um, but yeah, that is our new catalog cover. Okay, let's get to new stuff. Now, um, I have a project to share and it's actually a technique. So I'm going to share my new, the, the new products I received in my, both my bag and uh, during the event. And then I'll share my technique card that I, I swapped and then I'll share a bunch of swaps. So um, I don't know, uh, Sabina, if we're going to have catalog labels this time. I hope we do because we're going to need them, <laughs> honestly. So I, we may be just making our own using some little sticky tabs. I don't know. Um, they haven't told us that we're going to have catalog labels yet. But this was our swap bag. I mean, not our swap bag. This was our, our um, backpack that we received at the event. And boy, it's really hard to share this big thing. But um, it is so cool. There are so many pockets, so many ways to, to use this. It's, it was really a great bag. It has the water. Uh, things on the side. Um, it even has a back zipper. It's just loaded with pockets. So we, were, we love it. It's a great bag. Um, inside that bag was another one. Well, first of all, I'll share this. We received, I don't know which is up or down. Yeah, this is, let's see, you gotta open it up. Yeah, this is up. So we received a notebook and it has um, different types of, of pages that you can take notes in. So it's really nice. I don't know why it's yellow, but it's yellow. It's not a new ink color. That's just yellow. And this was in the bottom of the bag. Now this is substantial. It's a crafting box. And I believe it's in the new peach pie. And when you open it, you have pockets for tools, a pen, scissors, another zipper pocket in here. And then these are like styrofoam hard. Uh, they're, I guess they are removable, so I could uh, move them around for different size uh, areas, but it's, they're, they're, they're hard and, and um, for crafting. So you can store things, take things. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's neat. So that and stamp it up, but it's, it's a firm, firm case that, um, that we love. Yeah, has a little handle. So that was in the bottom of our bag. We also, let's see, I'm trying to go in order what else was in the bag. Um, oh, the, the the pen. So we got some pens in there, and these are not markers. They are actually writing pens in those colors. Now, they look really close to the in colors, except for this one. This is way too dark. So this is what the pink should be. It, um, so this one's a little bit too dark, um, probably because we couldn't have seen it if we were writing with that color. So I'm just guessing. So this was something I received um, as one of the leaders. I achieved some, um, I don't know, back, this was uh, a gift for having the level of sales or team leading that that I've done, and this is kind of, I left the tag on there for some reason. Somebody told me it is a pencil holder. So you pull these tabs down, and then you have a, you can store your pencils, but while you're working, say you go to an event, you can store your markers or pens in here. And then when you're done, you pull that up and you zip it up and you can go. So they hold them secure. But yeah, it slides, it's the neatest thing. So that was something I got as a leader. I also received this Stampin' Up! mug. It's for hot or cold liquids. And um, that was something we received. There was a special VIP room for some of us. 
um, that qualified. I think if you were silver elite and above, um, you got to go to this special room with snacks and beverages and lounge chairs and visit with your other Stampin' Up! leaders. So that was pretty neat. Uh, then I did get a sweatshirt too, but I didn't like it. It wasn't a zipped one. It was over the neck and I didn't like that. So I gave it to Candy. So she was there and um, yeah. Uh, the Will the catalog fit in the peach bag, Lori? No, it does not. It is too shallow. It's only about uh, nine inches high. So not long enough either. Okay, I'm sorry I was breaking up, Vonda. Um, it's been clear for me. Hopefully, it's it's going to get better for you. The uh, I, I I had a I've had a few um, comments lately that my voice is not loud enough. If that's true, I apologize. I could bring my uh, my. I'm going to just try it right now. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Excuse my reach. If uh, you know what. I don't think I'm going to do it now because it's so tight. I cannot uh, reach it. Now I'm crooked. Isn't that the way it goes? Uh, my, my stand is super tight. I apologize. What happened here? I should not mess with camera while I'm live, should I? That is no good. No good. Wow, what a mess. Don't do that. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> moving on. These are some of my uh, banners that I achieved during the last year. Um, just for sales and team building and top performer, incentive trip was earned, that kind of thing. So we wore these on a lanyard during the day with our name on them. So, and then this was our number for prize patrol. And my prize patrol uh, er, gift, I guess you, what is, you could say, is the Lily Pond Lane 6x6. Six six. And I'll go through each um, one separately. So, yeah, it has koi. You know, we had fish ponds for years with koi in them. This features a lot of the new in colors. Um, the, and yes, we did get pretty in pink back. Can you believe it? Now there's a set of dyes that has kind of a scene with um, reeds and such poking up. I think it's a circle. We could not pre-order that, but it is available in the catalog. I just caught a glimpse of it. It also has ducks in the dyes. So such pretty colors, aren't they? I love our new peach and the peach pie and pretty in pink. And yeah, we did get pretty in pink back. How many of you have been around? Now my voice is hard to hear. Oh, well, that's weird. I, it's the same place. I'm sorry, Kathy. Shoot. Um, maybe I should stand up. Hey, that's an idea. I'll stand up for a while. My voice will be closer to the microphone. Okay, then we all received this uh, Hooray for Honeycomb kit. I, they didn't tell us, but I suspect that this is one of the next kits to come out in uh, April. So it has these honeycomb uh, additions. You, you know what a honeycomb is, right? So that'll be added to cards or envelopes. So my, I suspect, like this envelope, you would glue it on and then leave that unglued to mail or to gift, and then they will peel off the other side to glue it down for, um, for permanent. So now inside the card, of course, you can glue it and then close the card. So it's gonna be fun to play with, but that is, I believe, the next kit. Okay, we also received, uh, everybody received this stamp set, the leaf collection. Now, my plan, I don't remember who it was, Tracy, cut, cut these up. So I plan to cut this up 
into individual pieces. And then if I ever want to use them together, I can put them back on my big block and put them together. But I think I'll use them a lot more when they're cut up separate. This could be a separate piece, this one, this one, this one, and even this one. So, so yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it all up into pieces and play with it, but this will be great for techniques. So you'll see me using this uh, very soon. Okay, um, we, if during the paper pumpkin booth, we could either get grid paper or we could get a new uh, paper pumpkin uh, stamp set. So since I have uh, quite a few paper pumpkin subscribers, I will be using this. It's just a fun set. It's photopolymer. Then, now I gave some, some wrong information on my Facebook page and Instagram. This is a new color wheel that is shown in the new catalog. And I, I have to admit, I'm a skimmer. So I skimmed. <laughs> I saw it in the catalog. I thought, yay, everybody can order it. Well, it's just a picture. It's not, there's no item number. That This is not on there. So this was a gift for onstage attendees. I apologize very much for getting your hopes up. Maybe if we ask hard enough, maybe they will um, offer this as an online item or an exclusive item for something. But but yeah, there's all kinds of different ways to use it. Monochromes, complementaries, uh, tri uh, triads, all kinds of of um, ways to use this. So most often you would, and in the catalog, you can do this. You can take a ruler and the complementary, if you go across, you will see that these two are complementary and on and on. So I, I, it's hard for me to go across, like the, these two are complementary. So, so that is one way to do that, going exactly across. And uh, uh, monochromes are my favorite. So right here you can see that these would be a monochromatic card. Look at the blues, how perfectly they go together, the purples. So that's always a safe bet if you work, if you have trouble with colors, use um, colors that are in the same hues together. So my favorites, of course, are greens, like, like that or the turquoisey blues those that's what I reach for the most and sometimes purples purples are kind of my thing too so that's a way to use monochromatic cards um, which you're always safe with always safe using colors in the same hues or one color with white and add black okay so apologize for getting your hopes up on the color wheel I had no clue it was not going to be available um okay let's get into the in colors oh sorry the in colors i moved away all right so here we have shy shamrock this is petunia pop here is pretty in pink summer splash and peach pie so those are our new in colors. And these are some of the new in color dots. They are called in color shimmer gems and they are beautiful, kind of faceted. They're not real high. They're very nice. So this is going to match. Now on one of my tags gifts, I did receive this ribbon. This is in a combo pack with white. Yeah, I believe it's the peach pie. So um, yeah, that could be petal pink now that I think about it. I'm not sure. I'd have to read my catalog again, but I know there's a white ribbon that matches this that's in a combo pack. Uh, this is the onstage pin that we received. A lot of people collect pins, and this is very important for, for a lot of people. So I actually just store them all together. I don't do anything with them. Someday maybe I'll make a display display board for them. Um, okay, let me see. The last thing is I took a class, an evening class. It was an add-on. This is a brand new stamp set called Spotlight on Nature. And it is red rubber. Beautiful, beautiful. It's so my style. It's almost uh, distinctive, but it has a lot of details that help you in coloring because where the dark lines are, that's where you add your darker colors and your lighter go between or 
separate from the dark colors. That's kind of a, an easy guide to um, to coloring those type of stamps. So these are the dyes that go with it. So uh, I'm sure they're called the Spotlight on Nature. Let me just double check my, yep, Spotlight on Nature dyes. They are matching. And why this goes with that, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I can't guess, but they are a bundle and they all have a distinctive edge to them. Now, there are three of the same in each pattern. So uh, extra large, medium, and smaller medium. Then this one, this little stitch dot stitch has a large and a small, and then here is a medium and another small. Oh, that one has four. So, and this one has four. So they don't all fit in the same. Do you see what I did there? So here are the three of those. Here are the four. Oh, sorry. Get this right. There are four of two of them. One, two, three, four. Take that away. And I have one, two, three, four. Oh, I have four of each. Oh gosh, do some counting. I haven't actually used them yet. And here are the four of the little uh, leaf edge. I don't know what you'd call that. But those are the, I'm really excited to use these. I think they will be very popular. So we did do make some cards. We were giving a very limited uh, bunch of products. I'm going to, here's one that doesn't have any in colors on it, but we were given um, some ink and uh, a water painters and a few extra supplies. This is watercolor paper. I think I did do it inside as well. This is Calypso Coral, so no in colors here, but it does use the new stamp set. Okay, so those two go very nicely together. Here is another one. This uses the Summer Splash with the uh, le uh, Lemon Lime Twist. There's the inside. Here is a combo of the Shy Shamrock with the Petunia Pop. And our instructions were totally different. We all changed it up and did kind of our own thing. So I did a little bit of an extra butterfly wing on mine, added some of the gems. We didn't have ribbon to use. We just had some white twine. I guess I left it off on that one. So those are some of the projects that we made and everybody's was different. It was so fun because we had our paper trimmers. They gave us packs of cardstock um, and of course the inks. So... That is the Spotlight on Nature bundle. And I think, I think I showed everything now of the, but I think these are gonna be awesome. Now I will tell you that I will be doing an in color bundle, I always do. Uh, my local gals at my open house tend to order them. I usually do a pack of assorted cardstock, the five inks, the refills, um, and include the gems and give away a ribbon share or some markers. You can add on the blends at a reduced cost. I, I put together a bundle, but it'll all depend on what's available. Um, so that I won't know for sure until it comes out. Hopefully everything will be available, but I will um, have more details on that bundle at the end of April is when I can start offering it. So, um, so yeah, stay tuned. If you like to get it all at once and get something free with your purchase and have it all at once instead of waiting, a lot of other demonstrators do a month in color of the month club. And so you get everything this color the first month, but you have to wait five months to get everything. So it's a little bit bigger bill uh, to get it all at once, but you get it all at once. So, um, yeah, that's that. Now, um, I'm trying to think. What else? So I will share a technique really quickly here. I'm not gonna make the whole card, just a quick technique um, that of a card that I shared at my, at the, on stage. We all take swaps if you want to. It's all um, optional, all optional. So this is the gilded, oh my goodness. Um, naturally gilded designer paper. Now it comes in 12 by 12. And here is the card I made with it. Now you're like saying, well, where's the white? So I decided I like, I love black and I love how it, how it accents and just brings out the, the silver. So I did both black and 
I mean silver and gold for my swaps. Sometimes I added uh, gems, sometimes I added the, uh, the twine. So this is the Lasting Label Punch and this is our gold and this is our holographic uh, paper. Just a simple inside, a little strip of white to bring out the little bit of white on the tag. Greeting is from the uh, Hello Irresistible stamp set online. Okay, so this is a resist technique. So simply a memento ink pad. And boy, that is um, seen better days. But <laughs> so I usually, when I did all these, I think I made like 20 some of these cards. I actually wore gloves because otherwise I would get very, very inky. But you will take your ink pad, and that's why black works so well because this is a linen based ink pad and you can really rub. You don't have to worry about hurting your ink pad where our, our colored ink pads are uh, foamy. So now I'm going to just turn the whole thing around and I'm gonna use a tissue to hold that in place while I do the last corner. And one thing I did, I found out I did all of these like, like I'm doing, wiped them off, set it aside. They turned a little bit gray. They were a little bit not as black. So I'm gonna go over this oops, twice just to make sure I'm really saturating that, uh, that paper. So the neat thing about this technique is it only sticks to the white paper. So now I'm going to try not to get inky and hold that there and use a tissue. And sometimes you have to turn the tissue in order to get a clean area. So isn't that incredible how fast that is? So think about all of our specialty paper that has uh, a silver, gold, copper design on it. Just use a scrap of paper and a tissue or a paper towel. And you have that beautiful black and uh, metallic paper. So I just love the effect. I think it's so beautiful. So, and luckily we are getting both silver and gold in the new catalog. So um, I will tell you that the price of cardstock and I believe ink pads, refills, blends are going up. You know, our world is just, everything is going up in price. And unfortunately, Stampin' Up! has to do the same thing and their prices go up. So we have to pay more for our products. It's just, that was Memento Ink. Yes, Kathy, thank you for asking that. Um, yeah, so it, that was a really cool technique and I love the cards, but there will be a free project sheet at my blog, on my blog next Monday. So you'll see these cards and be able to print out the dimensions. Actually, this is three by five and a half. So on a 12 by 12, you can get eight pieces, eight cards from your designer paper. And then the strips on the top and the bottom I used, and sometimes I use the side strip um, if I had a scrap. So it, you can do the the um the additional whatever way you want with your scraps okay so let's get into swaps i will show you i have some gorgeous gorgeous swaps to share now don't i won't be able to tell you the names of most of these because um i just my memory is just not that good but i'll do my best as far as what product it is so i know that this one it's done by cindy fodor and she used the See, it's going to take me too long to remember this. Um, it's a new online exclusive, though. So and that's one of the new um, shimmer papers. Okay, now a lot of these are in envelopes, and I want to keep them together with the person's name. So this is Michelle Davis, and she did a fun fold uh, swap with a punch deer. And when you, when you do that, basically she die cut a circle, put string between the layers... Oh, she just glued it in the back. Oh, that's clever. She didn't even put string between the layers. But then when you set it up, you set it up by twisting it. When they open it, it untwists. So it's a really neat technique. I don't believe this string is uh, stamping up. It's just um, thread from the store, but it's such a pretty card. So I like that she included a piece of vellum that you could um, keep in there or add if you want to. So I'm going to be careful about stacking these so I don't have to put them all in envelopes again. Okay, this one is from 
Amy Surface, I believe. Isn't that beautiful? The colors are so striking. Really nice coloring, a little wink of Stella. And this is a, we have quite a few fun folds that you might like. This is from Lori Perez. And a lot of my fun folds, she even gave dimensions and whatnot, include, I was in a specialty swap and we had to decorate, well, bonus for decorating your envelopes. But here is her card. You hold the kiwi to my heart. So yeah, but the little belly band. So I'll, I'll do that later. I'm gonna try and keep these all together. Okay, this one is, I think the inside. Yeah, right here it is. This is from Tina Pet, Petco. And she is the Na Nature's Sweetness bundle in shaded spruce. Okay. All right. Oh, I love this one. I have this set and I haven't used it. Sasha Wilson. And she used that new plant set and the new uh, Sweetly Scripted that is on um, unavailable right now because it's out of stock, but it will be back. Okay, like I said, I'm trying to keep these kind of together. So um, this is by Michelle Sturgeon. And she, if any of you were on stage, she will be unforgettable. She presented and she was a stand-up comedian. We laughed so hard at her. She could, she was just, she was just a blast. So this is her card using, I think this is the Magnolia online set. And the new wood set, there's a new wood set, but oh, how pretty is that? So yeah, she, I will never forget her because she was so memorable. All right, this is from, let's see, Stephanie Ferreira, I believe, and she had an envelope and a fun fold card. So kind of neat, right? So I'll be sharing one of these cards soon. I really like this, this layout. Oh, and this card, never seen anything like it. Um, she actually gave dimensions. This is from, oh, another one from Stephanie Ferrara. But look at this. So it stands up. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of something from outer space. I've never seen anything like it, but it can be a gift card holder. She did a little circle die there and it stands up, see, like that, using the Latte Suite. Such a fun card. Never, like I said, never seen anything like it. So glad she gave dimensions. And this one, oh, I think she put, I put her information is, Nikki Barnhart, and this is her, I don't think she provided or stamped the envelope. It opens like this and then like this. Okay, all right, another uh, coffee or latte set. This one by Michelle Cox, and she has a stamped envelope. And this is one of those seagull, is that what it's called, a seagull card? I believe Susan Campfield created this, this card fold. So it kind of opens up like, and I haven't made one of these yet. So it'll be, it's nice to have one in person. That's the beauty about swapping is that you actually get a sample in hand. So there's that one. And this one's really cool. Um, this was made by Kim Wilson. I, I know Kim, she's really nice. There's her card, and here is how you open it. She used the new uh, glimmer papers. Isn't that pretty? What a striking, very simple in the front, and then you open it and you're like, wow, that's really pretty. Oh, and this next one is from my team member. She joined the same kind of swap, and there's her, her, oops, <laughs> I'll put that back here. And isn't that neat? This is the new, I think it's called Soda Pop Online. It's an online um, exclusive. And those are the dies. And this is our uh, holographic silver paper. So she didn't she do a fabulous job? She didn't know if it was good enough. I'm like, oh, for heaven's sake, it is. It really is. So what a beautiful card. Love her colors. Um, I believe it's Clipso Coral, maybe Sweet Sorbet. And... Uh, Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the light green. 
drawn a blank. Well, I'll keep moving. Okay, all right, this one is from Lisa Tedder. I have to scoot some of this down so I have room to keep going. There's, I'm almost done, I've got just a third left. And so this is using the coffee sweet again, and this is a fancy fold where it opens like this and it's a gift card holder. So this little piece right here is added with dimensionals. So there's a space for the uh, designer paper to kind of peek into to hold it closed. And then it still opens up more. So yeah, she she made the little, um, I forget what that's called again, the little machine or the little oh, press, the little coffee press. So that's a pretty cool card. And this one is from Candy, and she's online. She's another one of my team members, and she joined the, the Fun Folds. Well, it actually was a kid's card, but she joined it. they put it in the Fun Fold category, so I did receive one. But it's a little latch card that you can latch it close to keep it closed from popping open from the little cow, cow bundle. So what's moo with you? <laughs> she's all punny. Candy's very punny. <laughs> All right, this next card is another one from Kim Wilson. And it is a box card using the, oh gosh, is this the Nature Sweetness? No, it's the vase. I can't remember the name of this one. But um, this is paper from the annual catalog. I know, I just can't recall the name. But it's a double box fold. So I love getting fun folds. And this last one is oversized, so the gal um, gave us an extra on extra envelope to fit, and she called it a triple box card, and it's made by Sherry Stewart. And look at that! So isn't that cool? So there's the front, how it folds flat. She used the thoughtful moments dies and the butterflies and the dragonflies and birds gems with the meandering meadows designer paper isn't that pretty great way to use that paper and what a fun fold so i think she just made three boxes and put them together very cool very cool so those are my swaps i have more i have more i will be sharing more next week um i'm trying to think i don't think there was anything else um, but if, oh, I do, um, I have a list of people I'm sending the catalog to, customers that have ordered from me. If you are a, a, a customer of mine and you want to make sure you're, I'm, you're on my list, please send me a message, an email, a text, uh, message me here. I will read the comments. If you place an order over $50 in the last year, you get one of these free from me. I will mail it to you. I'm Finish the mailing selector for us to choose who to mail it to ends March 31st. So if you want to get one free, place an order over $50 in the next few weeks and you will get one of these free. So, um, and I do have perks. I have um, frequent frequent um, customer perks, they call them flowers. And for every uh, $50, you get a flower and I think it's 10 flowers and you get a $50 shopping spree. From me so there are perks to ordering from me um, but yeah if you want to get a new catalog mailed to you just let me know also we will have our upcoming uh, stamping rummage sale in June I think it's Father's Day weekend and anybody who has ordered from me gets to shop Friday night if you're local in North Dakota yeah you will you can shop Friday night so anybody who is within a couple hours driving that stamp and rummage sale that we have every year we usually have at least 30 sellers and it's huge. So um, yeah, it's worth a road trip, let me tell you. I have people that arrange their vacations around my rummage sale that I have every year because people sell out all old old, old ink pads. I mean, not old, but um, unwanted ink pads, cardstock. We have tons and tons of designer paper. Now it's not all stamping up, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fathers get stamps. Yeah, I was going to have it the next weekend, but we have creativity now that weekend. So it's I think it's going to be the day before Father's Day. So don't quote me. I'm still going to talk to my coordinators. I have many people who help me with this big event. So, but yeah, anyway, hope you like the new catalog and let me know if you'd like one. It's free when you place an order with me. 
All right, I will see you next week. Uh, don't forget to go to my blog on Monday. That's when I post the project sheets. So, <laughs> yeah, you could fill up a table. Maybe you do need to make a road trip candy. <laughs> um, the cradle card, the coffee. Yeah, maybe. I might do that, um, Karen. I'll look. I, I, that's what I get ideas with is the fun fold swaps that I am in because I rarely watch anybody else's videos. I just don't have time. So I get ideas by my swaps. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's how I do that. And I will share some of these fun folds in the near future. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care and I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.